Hey everyone, welcome to Ableton Live 11. In this class, we're gonna cover all aspects of Ableton Live from just learning the program, to recording, to producing, to DJing, mixing, mastering. Everything is gonna be included in this huge multi-part class. So if you're brand new to the program, this is the best place to start. If you're already familiar with another audio program, all of these classes will get you up to speed on using live to do professional music production in no time. So this is part one, the interface. In this class, we're gonna focus on everything you need to know to become a master of Ableton Live 11. If you're brand new to the program, we're gonna learn every aspect of how it works. If you've already used another program, I'll walk you through how this is different. But if you're brand new, don't worry, I'll get you all up to speed on how to use Ableton Live 11 for professional music production. Let's dive in. Okay, so the most confusing thing about Ableton when you first pull it open is the two views. Okay, so let's talk about those right away. Command R, I can change the name of it and then just type. So bass, this is a MIDI track, so let's say keys and drums. Okay, so Command R, virtually anything organized a little bit differently. So if I go to instruments, I see all the different instruments that are installed in my version of Live. Now this is something where if you don't have Live Suite, you probably see less instruments than I have. Okay, these are the instruments that come with Live Suite. So these are all Ableton instruments. It hasn't been set yet. So if I click on the dotted line, I'm gonna make a point. I click on another spot, I make another point. Okay, so now I'm going to do for a long time. Maybe I should actually just show you this track that we're working on. Um, so let's do another little session deconstruction. So here's what I've got going on here. Uh, this particular singer sent me the stems for this. Program. 